Hey, this is Todd, Red River Tactical and Outdoors, and today we're going to talk about handgun grip. As you can see in the opening video, a proper grip on a handgun is not needed to be able to put shots on a target. But when we are working with these things, we know that one shot usually does not take care of the problem. It usually takes multiple shots, and they need to be placed fairly quick. So today we're going to look at handgun grips that will allow you to place multiple shots and do that fairly quick and pretty accurate. We're going to look at a really good grip and we're going to look at some not so good grips and we're going to explain why those grips are good or not so good. So stay tuned and let's look at some handgun grips. Here. So in this first video you're going to say this is a proper grip and as it goes into slow motion you can see how that slide on that gun is tracking almost straight back and forth it's coming back and then the sights land right back on the target that allows you to get fast and pretty accurate follow follow-up shots with this type of grip the second type of grip we're looking at is like the thumbs are tucked in uh, and uh, support hand thumb on top of the uh, strong hand thumb and as this goes into slow motion look how high that muzzle flip is on this gun your support hand thumb needs to be as far up on the gun as possible to be able to control uh, the recoil and you can see in this that it's not controlling the recoil and that uh the gun is the muzzles flipping up way high on this thing you can also see you can't hardly see real good it's really hard to reset the trigger while this is going on because it the muzzle flip is causing your finger to not be able to pin the trigger back to the rear of the gun as well as it should So this next grip we're looking at, it's kind of like the teacup grip, uh, the thumb under the bottom of the trigger guard. This grip is really bad. You're gonna see a lot of muzzle flip uh, in this. And again, you're gonna be, you're gonna see that it's hard to pin that trigger back to the rear and shoot the reset on it. Uh, this grip is horrible. Uh, again, you're gonna notice a lot of muzzle flip and you're not controlling the gun. Uh, the gun is controlling the shooter here. So this next grip, it, it's almost a good grip, except the thumbs are pointing up toward the sky. Both thumbs are, and that thumb is not uh, in there forward of the gun, uh, controlling the recoil and driving the gun. So this, you're gonna see a lot of muzzle flip in this grip also, uh, and just not controlling the gun real well. This one, this grip here is almost a really good grip. If you got a shooter that's got this grip, it won't take much to get him to where he needs to be on his on his grip. And the last grip we're going to look at, this grip's almost good, except the front finger is in front of the trigger guard instead of underneath the trigger guard. This grip will cause a lot of your shots to go low sometimes. And as you can see, as, I, if, as I'm shooting with this grip, I'm having to adjust my grip just about every shot because the, jump, the gun is jumping around a lot in my hand. And you'll notice that on the other grips also, 
but it's a little more pronounced on, on this grip. But like I said, uh, this a lot of times causes your shots to go low because you're tensing up right as you pull the trigger, and that front finger being on that trigger guard tends to pull the gun low. So real quick again, we'll look at slow motion of a good grip. And just notice how that slide is tracking back and forth, landing on the sights, and you're not having to move your hands around every shot to get a grip, to get a good comfortable grip back to place the next shot.